Hello my fellow smug ones, I hope you're all okay. Well just as we thought the BBC were going to be a bit lenient to the over 75s with the TV licence, it looks like they're now sending out a sneaky new TV licence letter to all the OAPs over 75. Let's begin. Okay, as many of you will know, I don't actually have a dedicated upload schedule, so the best way to see my videos as soon as I put them online is by clicking that subscribe button and notification bell. Okay, this story is from the Daily Express, and it says, BBC steal fist inside Velvet Glove to make the over 75s pay the TV licence fee. BBC bosses have changed tactics to make a hardcore group of over 75s TV licence refusals pay up. And that could be because they're probably finally started to realise that sending OAPs, what a lot of people perceive as threatening letters, is not such a good idea. And it doesn't paint them in a good light at all, does it? Or any company for that matter. I think it's even disgraceful that they're even wanting the over 75s to pay the TV licence fee in the first place after they've given it to them free for so long. The corporation has sent out, how can we help letters to persuade the 730,000 pensioners to hand over the £159 fee. I'll tell you how you can help. You can start by scrapping the TV licence entirely. In fact, that would help everyone, not just the OAPs. It tells non-payers that 9 out of 10 older viewers have made arrangements since the changes came into force. So that's basically saying, well, 9 out of 10 people have done it. Why you haven't you done it then? It's about time you should. How can we possibly help? We can send someone round to collect the licence fee for you. Would that be handy? Hmm. No. I'll tell you what you can do. You can take your fancy toilet paper TV licence letters and recycle them into versions of The Guardian. They've got about as much useful information in as each other, haven't they? In my opinion, anyway. And also that way, it'd probably give your BBC presenter something to read. Anyway, the letter states, TV licences for the over 75s changed in August 2020. Well, actually, that was last year. In fact, less than a year, but when they say it with a year, it makes it seem like ages ago, doesn't it? Since then, 9 out of 10 people have made arrangements for the next licence. However, we haven't heard from you yet. We want to do everything we can do to help you get correctly licensed. That's because a lot of people don't need your TV licence, BBC. In fact, hardly anyone does in this day and age, in my opinion, because we can just watch things on demand. The BBC are only one TV company, aren't they? But yet they somehow demand that we pay them to watch other TV companies or channels live. It's absolutely ridiculous in this day and age. And hopefully in 2027, when their TV licence Royal Charter protection ends, hopefully that will go with it if the licence fee continues. It urges non-payers to call and speak to our specially trained advisors, <coughs> salesperson, and TV licensing run by private firm Capita. MPs were told last month the budget for publicity, call centre staff and systems for over 75s is £65 million. And that money could be saved if they scrapped the licence fee entirely, couldn't it? because they wouldn't have to do that anymore, would they? Around 4.2 million older viewers were hit by the decision to scrap the free licence, but around 770,000 of those claim pension credit, so they can apply for an exemption. But yes, that means applying for it, doesn't it? And quite a lot of older people may have a bit of trouble doing that, so they may think, oh, do you know what, I'll just pay it, which is what I think the BBC are counting on, to be honest with you. Some 730,000 are resistant paying or sorting out other arrangements, according to the BBC figures last month, or nearly two out of 10. So it's, hang on a minute, it's gone from nine out of 10 are sorted to suddenly eight out of 10 have got sorted. So make your mind up, which is it? The Daily Express has launched a crusade to get the BBC to pay the over 75s TV licence fee. Dennis Reed, director of Silver Voices, said the BBC changed tack after threatening reminders. They should have never really done that, should they? It's disgraceful, isn't it, for any company to act, let alone a public-funded company. In fact, if it was any other company, they'd be on BBC Watchdog, wouldn't they? Anyway, he said, our members have seen through this pathetic attempt by the BBC to weaken the resolve of hundreds of thousands of senior citizens who are refusing or unable to pay the licence fee. Nobody is fooled by this sudden change of tone or believes a call to cuddly capita enforcement advisors will help. The over 75s have already seen the steel fist from, of the BBC and are not conned by the velvet glove that now wraps around it. And that is a very good point, isn't it? 
it does seem that's exactly what it is. Instead of spending millions on postage, the BBC should be exploring ways of resolving this dispute with us. He said the claims 9 out of 10 over 75s have paid up or applied for a free TV licence based on pension credit were a gross exaggeration. And they've probably done that to make people think, oh, well, 9 out of 10 people are paid. I'm the only one who's not. I, I suppose I better pay as well. Well, I'm sorry, BBC. That sort of tactics just aren't going to work, as it would mean only 400,000 have outstanding bills. He said the letter was just another tactic to get the older viewers to give up the fight. And that seems like it's right, doesn't it? The BBC should have never sent out what a lot of people see as threatening letters in the first place, and they've only got themselves to blame, haven't they? Anyway, let me know what you think. Here are some of my other videos for you to watch next. If you're a legend, click that like button down there. It really does help me out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.